Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. No series on curl would be complete without talking about decurling. It appropriately follows our last clip on roll set curl because it uses most of the same principles. There are perhaps 10,000 paper and paperboard sheeters in use. Many of them are equipped with decurl stations. Decurling is also possible on some other machines and some other webs. Even so, the scientific literature on decurling is as incomplete as it is on roll set curl. No matter, mechanics can still provide us with factors and direction, even if it does not give us models and numbers. The objective here is to reduce curl by decreasing the residual stress differences between the top and the bottom of the web. In some sense, this would be analogous to trying to fix a baggy web after the fact by bringing most of the width into yield. It is similarly unlikely in that clearly successful applications are relatively infrequent to the point of rare. Still, for paper, paperboard, and a few other products, Decurling is not only successful, it is necessary for customer acceptance. The factors that affect decurling are easy to list, even if modeling is difficult. Most often the web is mechanically broken over a radius bar or very small diameter roller. The amount of decurling is extremely sensitive to the radius. In fact, just as we saw in roll set curl, it is sensitive to the ratio of web thickness to radius, which in this case is the radius of the bar or the roller. Also from mechanics, and just like we saw in roll set curl, the problem is affected by tension and time. Time here is wrap angle and web speed. Just as we saw in roll set curl, however, these factors are weak. In practice, the coarse curl knob might be selecting which of four corners of varying radii bear against the web. The vernier knob might possibly be an adjustable wrap angle. On some well-equipped sheeters, the wrap angle is automatically adjusted by PLC controls to be low at the top of the unwinding roll to higher near the core. The operator would select the endpoints of the curve to best match the combination of manufacturing and roll set curl that the parent roll might have. Please also note that it is not necessary and perhaps not even desirable to have both directions of decurling engaged at the same time. Of course, mechanical braking has limitations, including web scratching, web cracking, web breaks, tension rise, and so on. It is good that mechanical braking is not the only way to reduce residual stresses. You can also anneal some webs, such as metals and plastics, with heat. You can also anneal some webs, most notably paper, with moisture. In fact, a light steaming on one side is a very powerful tool to pull the paper web to that side. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical video series. Stay tuned as we move on to more advanced web handling topics. Let me know if there is something that you especially would want to hear about.